What's up, y'all? It's your boy Steph back with another reaction. This time we have Brightside 10 photos that can scare anyone. Brightside is a YouTuber I just came across just last night. I saw the title of the video, I saw the creepy ass thumbnail for it. So I was like, I definitely gotta check this out. This is my first reaction to their, his, her, whoever's content. So, of course, I already know I'm going to like it. So, after this video, I'm definitely going to have to subscribe and tap that bell icon. So, I will get notified every time they drop a new video. So, down in the description will be a link to Brightside's channel along with a link to this original video. Without further ado, let's get into it. kind of bad. Uh. Oh no, see? Ten photos that can scare anyone. The paranormal has always been interesting for both skeptics and romantics. What? Some people believe in the supernatural and others don't. But sometimes simple photographs turn out to be very surprising, spooky, and even terrifying. Yeah. Here are 10 strange photos, many of which cannot be explained. Can you imagine taking a happy photo and then later find out that there's a ghost behind you or even right next to you? People in these photos experience that, but maybe you'll be able to solve some of these mysteries. Let's find out. Number 10, the Cooper photograph. The Cooper family mystery is still unsolved. The photo, which captures the mother and the grandmother of the Cooper family with two kids, was taken during a celebration in their new house in Texas. At the moment the photograph was taken, the family didn't see anything unusual. But when the photo was developed, they saw someone falling or hanging from the ceiling. Yo. Quite a scary discovery, isn't it? What? I don't know. That family haunted as fuck. Number nine, scary commercial. A couple of years ago, a strange video emerged on the internet. I've seen this. In the clip, you could see a woman standing alone in the room when suddenly a chair started moving on its own. Yeah, the whole room is haunted. As the terrified woman tried to escape out of the room, tables and chairs blocked her way to the exit door. This video got millions of views and provoked a serious debate. And she gets Was it knocked an earthquake out. or a poltergeist? Yeah. In fact, the answer turned out to be much more simple. It was just a commercial for the Malaysian movie Bangunan. Good, I'm glad that wasn't real. Number eight, the brown lady. This is one of the most famous and controversial ghost pictures. Yeah. It was first revealed in Country Life magazine in 1936. It is believed that in this photo, we see Dorothy Walpole, also known as Brown Lady because of the brown dress she apparently wears. Her husband suspected her of cheating and imprisoned her in Raynham Hall for life. What? Imprisoned? After Dorothy's death, there have been numerous reports of seeing her ghost. Some critics consider this picture to be fake. However, there is still no proof for such suggestions. Fuck you mean you in prison there. Bitch, what? Number seven, Dancing Demon. I like how that sounds. This photo made many sensitive people scared. It was taken from a viewing monitor in the nursery's room. Uh -uh. The legend says that it was a demon standing on top of the patient who died a few hours after this picture appeared. What? Seriously, you can clearly see a dancing demon on the patient's bed, right? It turns out that it was nothing more than just an illusion. Uh -oh. What looks like the demon's leg is the patient's leg. The hip is the bed handrail, and the head with the upper part of the body is a bunch of medical waste. Our imagination can sometimes play quite a trick on us. That's one hell of a conclusion to jump to. This should still look real. Number six, faces in the water. 
This picture was taken on the oil tanker SS Watertown in 1924. It sailed from California to New York. On the way, two members of the crew, James Courtney and Michael Meehan, died tragically. After the service, the captain decided to bury them at sea. So you can probably imagine the horror when the next day, the crew saw their faces in the water right next to the ship. There are many theories about these haunting faces, but there is not even a single piece of proof. I'm good on all that. Number five, UFO. This photo was taken in 1962, and nobody has managed to prove that it's fake. In 1978, the Central Intelligence Agency declassified hundreds of documents concerning unidentified flying objects. This photo was published among other materials. To this day, there are multiple witnesses of UFOs all over the world, and numerous stories about aliens. Yep. So, who knows? Maybe they are true. What do you think? Leave your points of view in the comments. I'm pretty sure there is alien life. There's way too many videos about UFOs and all. Number four, ghost in the back seat. I think I know this one. This yep. photo was taken by Mabel Chinnery in 1959. Ooh. She and her husband were going to visit her mother in the cemetery, and Mabel wanted to take a picture of her husband in the car. After she printed the photo, she saw her mother in the back seat. Yep. One of the experts who had examined this picture claimed that it's completely genuine. On the same year, the mysterious photo was printed on the pages of Parade magazine. There are various theories and assumptions about this strange incident, but the truth is still unknown. It still looks more like a man than a woman, though. Whatever. Number three, stranger in the aircraft. It's still creepy as fuck. This photo was taken on a military fleet base in Somerset, England in 1987. The woman was alone, but later she said she had been quite cold despite warm weather that day. Alone. She found someone else sitting next to her in this picture. There is still no solid proof whether this photo is real or fake. It could have been just a trick of the light, but it still looks rather spooky. Number two, ghost in the church. Oh no, not church. This photo is considered to be one of the creepiest supernatural pictures. A priest took a picture of the altar at Newby Church in North Yorkshire, England. I don't see that. He later confessed that he didn't see anything special while taking the photo, but you can clearly see a frightening ghost. There were many speculations and even quite a controversy surrounding this photo. But hey. research has shown that it is real and hasn't been altered. Oh, no. Hell no. Number one. Scary Japanese girl. Fuck. Many See? people said that this photo was taken during a paranormal show in Japan. The strange angle of the woman's head and the expression on her face scared a lot of people and provoked debates on many forums dedicated to paranormal things. Yeah. However, as the picture started to become more and more popular on the internet, it turned out to be fake. The real video was found where it is clear that the girl just smiled for the camera. Which one of these pictures terrified you the most? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button below the video and share it with your friends. She's the thumbnail. Join us on the bright side. <laughs> I like that. Fuck. It's... What? Oh, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The one that got me was that tall shadow masked figure in video number two. It's just standing there in the church. In church! It's standing there just tall as fuck. At least probably seven feet. At least. Just staring. And it's like, it's Matt, his face is covered and all that. Like, ah, uh, man. Huh. I fucks with your boy, Brightside, though. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's subscribe.
to bright side. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. Tap. You'll get all notifications. Hey, you guys can definitely expect more reactions from me to his content. Cause I, the fuck, cause I fucks with it. That is it for this video, y'all. If you like my reaction, like the video, comment on the video, and share the video. And if you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And tap that bell icon so you will be notified every time I drop new content, which I do on a weekly basis. That's all I got for y'all this time around. Your boy Steph is out.